Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Light Sand Entertainment. This is DeviantD. Hope you're doing well. This is the first episode of what I hope will be an ongoing series of videos called, you guessed it, D's Collectibles. Uh, we're going to be looking through a bunch of my stuff. See, I've always been a geek, always been a collector. Um, I love collecting music, video games, comic books, but especially movie memorabilia and movie toys. If, it, if it's got a movie label on it, I'm probably going to buy it. Um, we're going to open up with uh, some Star Wars Episode One stuff. Know what you're thinking? Why of all the Star Wars movies did you s start with The Phantom Menace? Well, it's the first box I went through, so... And it was the first Star Wars stuff I saw. Anyway, uh, to start off, uh, I always loved it when I was a child, when my mother went to the grocery store uh, every week. She was so cool, she would always pick me up an issue of Mad Magazine. Uh, and if you don't know what Mad Magazine is, I, 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 I feel sorry for your childhood. Um, one thing they were famous for were their parodies of TV shows, pop culture, and of course movies. So when A Phantom Menace came out, uh, they took it as an opportunity to do not one, but two covers. Uh, the first cover... Um, and this is a takeoff of the original teaser poster for A Phantom Menace, if you don't remember that one. It's the one where it shows little Anakin walking in front of the hut, and the shadow he casts, of course, is the shadow of Darth Vader. So the first one we have is Anakin, but his shadow is not Darth Vader, it's Alfred E. Newman. Get the joke? So, like I said, there were two different ones, and the other one was, it was Alfred E. Newman, in the shadow of Darth Vader. Um, yeah. These both came out soon after the movie, and you see it has the various characters from the film given their WTF expressions. Anyway, moving on. Now I'm going to date myself here. Uh, believe it or not, kiddos out there and youngins, um, we had to get a book every week to see what was on TV. We didn't have the fucking guide button. So TV Guide took the initiative, and for the week of June 12th to the 18th, I'm assuming of 99, um, they came out with uh, four different covers for the same issue. Um, <laughs> the first one, the uh, person who gets all the hate in the world, uh, Jar Jar Binks. A lot of hate. Uh, if you don't remember, Jabba the Hutt made an appearance in The Phantom Menace, a blink in the miss him like couple sequences with him but evidently all that screen time was justified to give him his own cover so there's Jabba the Hutt's cover ah everybody's favorite Jewish stereotype Watto got his own cover there you are and last but not least we have the leader of the Gungans Mr. Boss Nas himself Boss Nas now, even though I'm just tossing these down, at least when I was younger, I had the right idea to not, like, trash this stuff, so it's all in great condition. Anyway, just a short video to introduce you to this. Hopefully we get some more out there. Anyway, Lightstand Entertainment, DB&D, have a good day.